Uh, the students actually came up with the idea along with Miss Abby Gore uh, to do a special um, interview where the students would um, having some pancakes and coffee just to, uh, talk a little bit about some of their memories that they would care to share. And what we're doing is we're asking questions um, about their experience in World War II, taking their pictures so that we will have a database and we're going to form a website so that anybody in the United States can look at um, the PVD veterans and what they offer to this country. We have 107 of them that are still with us today. And next year we will do Korean War, the year after that Vietnam War and so on and so forth so that we have a, a website of the service um, that the PVD veterans have offered. So today we're all here for breakfast with World War II veterans and it's to make a database of their stories and their information to share with the general public. This is just the first of many breakfasts. Because we are Peabody Veterans Memorial High School so we want to show the Peabody veterans that we appreciate them and that we appreciate what they've done for us. Uh, we're a citizen type of program. We teach the kids about uh, skills around the flags, color guard, build good moral character and values, life skills we also teach them, but we're not recruiters. It's usually the moms are a little concerned about that. ROTC is here to perform for the veterans to um, give them a little appreciation and we're very thankful to have them serve for us and for the country. Thanks. Ready. Move. Right shoulder. Arms. It's a reserve officer training corps and we help with community service and we help out with the veterans like today. Most of us do go into the military, but not all of us. Them being in the wars, nobody really got record of what wars and what happened. So that's what we're doing today. We're getting their stories. Today is a uh, privilege to um, act, uh, sit down with them, ask them questions, and you normally can't do that. Torch, arms, order. Arms. Right shoulder. Arms. I learned a lot about like World War II and what it was like. The one I interviewed was talking about how he was on ships and how he helped the troops and gave them supplies and everything, and that was cool. It makes us realize like what to be thankful for. He was telling me how he was taking ammo off the ships and um, like bombs came and almost like hit the area where he was and um, I feel that this is a great place to be to talk to the veterans get to know them order arms It's actually probably one of the better moments of my senior year. I'm very proud to be interviewing all of these veterans here today. They did a great service to our country, and the least I could do is interview their stories and see how tough their life was, how good their life was. And we need to let the veterans know that they do still matter, that we do still care in that they are the greatest generation and one of the best things that's ever happened to this country. Order, arms.
Forward. March. We were invited to uh, attend the breakfast this morning. Well, I'll tell you one thing. I'm here today, but my son's name is on a bench outside the church, there, outside the school here. So he made, I made it, he didn't. And he was killed in Vietnam. I'm, I'm very proud of these, of these kids doing this for us. It means a lot. It shows that we're appreciated. Because I think it was my duty to come, on, to come over because I was in the service, and I was proud that I was serve my country, uh, uh, U.S. Army. I was stationed in Virginia, Fort Eustis, from 51 to 53.